katika jina la Yesu hamjambo hamjambo tusalimiane hewani asanteni siku ya jumapili hatukuwa pamoja Ah, kwa sababu nilikuwa nimetembelea makanisa yetu ya Nyandaro huko upande wa Karuka MCA loko chachi ya Karuka na tukawa na kipindi kizuri na nikatoka hapo siku ya Jumapili na kimako kimenya wa kimya na nilipo toka huko Uh, nilipewa salamu zenu usipokee na nadhani roge kitima ko ishani mshamke bwana asifiwe watani ya roho mshi kwa hiyo bwana awabariki yotushukia mradi me na mungu aendelee kwa pamoja nasi na hadhi na pere kuja hapa tena asante kwa mipango mingi ile tunayo akina mama ninaona mnashukuru nyingi sana jitenga hapo kila kila mama anaweka anaweka ulodha ya mambo haya yote. Akina mama wana crusade kubwa sana. Kwa hivyo akina mama mjue ya kwamba kuna crusade. Kwa hivyo kuna takuwa kule kwenu. Kwa hivyo na akina baba pia kuna conference. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa hivyo uone kwamba na shughuli nyingi last Sunday youth had a worship experience na I think it was it is also good. Uh, kanisa la Mungu ukiwa na shughuli nyingi hiyo ndio na wiki hivi hii kama vile uh, pastor amesema ni kwamba utakuwa na maombi kutoka kwa ministry kwenda maombi ya ku ministry kufunga na kufa, na kuomba na kesha ona ya kwamba unapatikana kwa sababu jambo hili linakusaidia hata kukuria wokovu wako bwana asifiwe Uh, tuna mgeni atasukumzia baadaye dada Lisa Bebeli ni bishop na yeye anawania kitu moja atakuja kutuambia baadaye lakini kwa uh, wakati huu kwa sababu nitampa baadaye nikimaliza tamuliza Bishop, can you please stand up and wave to the church? Yeah, each year we will be talking to us. But as if you were, I want us today to open our Bibles in the book of Acts, chapter two, verse number forty-two. Nige pende tuingi katika Bible ya zetu kita kocha na chenda mitume haya aswe ya pili haya ya arubaini. Acts chapter 2 verse number 42 Matendo ya mitume 2:42 Um and I want our verse to read in the name of Jesus we are reading from the New King James Version and the Bible says at the continuous study first day in the apostles doctrine and fellowship in the breaking of bread at in prayers And uh, then fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done through the apostles. Now, okay. okay. Wakawa kidogo katika fundisho la mitume na katika ushirika na katika kumega mkate na katika kusali. Kila mtu akiambiwa na hofu, ajabu nyingi na ishara zikafanywa na mitume. I want us also to go to Philippians chapter 2 verse number 1 and 2 Philippians chapter 2 verse number 1 and 2 wa Filipi 2:1 na 2 Philippians 2 verse number 1 and 2 wa Filipi sura ya 2 we can only in the name of Jesus therefore if there is any consolation in Christ if any comfort of love If any fellowship of the spirit if any affection and mercy fulfill my joy by being like minded having the same love being of one accord of one mind let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit 
but in holiness of mind, let each esteem others better than himself. Let each of you look out not only for his own interest, but also for the interest of others. Basi ikiwako faraja yoyote katika kristu, yakiwako matunizo yoyote ya mapenzi, ukiwako ushirika wawote wa roho, ikiwako huruma yoyote na mbema, ijalizeni furaha yangu, ili mwe na nia moja, wenye mapenzi mamoja, wenye roho moja, mkinia mamoja. Mstende eno yoyote kwa kushingana, wana mwana kakuno, bali kwa unyekevu, kila mtu na mamnesabu umayuziwe kuwa bora, kuliko nafsi yake. I'm talking about relationships. Ninaoja kuhusu uhusiano. Specifically is how we can develop good relationship. Hasa mini ambago tunameza kuhusa uhusiano mwema. For effective ministry. Kwa sababu ya ukamilifu katika uguma. When we talk about relationship. Tunapongia kuhusu uhusiano. There is a word that I want to introduce to us. A Greek word, a Greek word called koinonia. 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 It is a Greek word which means the Christian fellowship or of the body of believers. And it is their intimate spiritual communion and participative, uh, and participative. That is koinonia. Koinonia. So it is fellowship. Ni ushirika. And uh, somebody talk about fellowship and they say there were two fellows sitting in the same boat. Na mtu moja kakana kumusu ushirika na kakasema kuna watu wawini waliyo kwa kusafiri katika mashua. So when we talk about fellowship it means it is like two people sitting in the same boat. Na tunako nena kumusu ushirika ni kama watu wawini wanao safiri kwa kwa katika mashua. As we learn in Acts chapter 2 verse number 42. Kama mbako tumesoma katika matanda ya mitube mbili the word koinonia also means to have uh, to, to have something in common neno koinonia pia linamaanisha kuwa na jambo la pamoja or to share ama kushiriki so so it is to have something in common we are or to be in one accord ni kuwa katika jambo la kushirika pamoja ama kuwa wania as the Bible says, and they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and koinonia. Na kama kibili na sema kwamba wakayendelea kwa moyo moja katika mafundisho ya kimitume na koinonia. That is fellowship na ushirika. And they were breaking bread together and praying together. Hali waki umenga wakache kwa moja na kuomba kwa moja. Sort of their oneness and that fellowship. Na kutoka na na ushirika na umoja huo wao. The Bible there said that at the great fear. Can you go to the next verse, verse number forty-three, and the 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 forty-three that it says, then fear came upon every soul. Bibili na sema kwamba hufu kubwa ikaidia kila moyo. And many wonders were done. Because the first church were in fellowship. So this is very important for us. And I want to say that relationship is very important. And as we talk about relationship, uh, it, we, 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 we are living in a very crucial period. Where relationship is at stake. Especially during this time of politics. And I've been sharing with the, with, with the, with the, with the, with members that is the, the ministers and we have been saying for the last few uh, weeks I have been telling them tell 
one another we are brothers na kwa majuma machache yaliyopita tumekuwa nikiwambia anianeni kwamba tu pamoja and we have been emphasizing that we are brothers na tumekuwa tukisisitiza ya kwamba sisi ni ndugu we are brothers sisi ni ndugu and i want to tell us even in the church we are brothers na nilipenda kuambia kwamba hata kanisani sisi ni ndugu can you tell the person next to you you are my brother nambie mtu aliyekaribu na yeye wewe ni ndugu yangu in fact if you go to the king james version it uses the word brethren ama ukiingia katika tafsiri ya king james inasema ajwendo ndugu ni ndugu can you just open the king james version and philippians chapter 3 and Paul was always talking about brethren na Paulo akawa akinena kila wakati kuhusu ndugu and when he was talking about brethren na alipoendea kuhusu ndugu chapter 3 chapter 3 can you go to chapter 3 tukiingia katika aya ya tatu he was talking finally my brethren alikuwa akisema hatimaye ndugu zangu so when you are talking about brethren you are talking about both men and women unaponena kuhusu ndugu unaongea kuhusu wote ndugu wa kiume na wa kike rejoicing the Lord. Na alikuwa anawaambia furahini katika Bwana. And when Paul is writing the, the book of Philippians. Na wakati Paulo anaandika kitabu hiki cha Wafilipi. He was commending Philippians because of that fellowship and the oneness and the brotherhood that they had established. Alikuwa anawaongeza kwa sababu ya umoja na udugu ambao Wafilipi walikuwa wameutengeneza. In the midst of trials and tribulation shida na viki most specifically they loved him and they showed him love even when he was in chains or he was in prison hasa wake walionyesha upendo wakampenda hata wakati alikuwa amefungwa minyororo na kuwekwa katika koroko and the one we commonly see baro kwa deke ile kabila wa viki hivi yao Our heritage. 
Can you start him up there? And he says, God is not moved. Do not be deceived. God is not moved, but whatever man sows, that he will live. Uh huh. For he who sows in flesh will also will of the flesh live corruption, but he who sows in spirit will of the spirit live everlasting life. Continue. Let us not grow weary of doing good. Let's all it together from there. One to one. And let us not grow weary while doing good. For in due season we shall live if we do not lose heart. Can you repeat that again? One to go. And let us not grow weary while doing good. For in due season we shall live if we do not lose heart. Continue. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all, especially to those who are of the household of faith. Can you repeat that again? Yeah. One to God. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all, especially to those who are of the household of faith. Praise the Lord. When I say faith. So let us not grow weary. As if it's okay. And let's read the, 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 the next passage. It's also interesting. That it says, See, with right letters I have written to you with my own hands. The other one says, so, As many as decide to make good, show you the flesh. Let me just stop there but so that I can say what, 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 why. I, I said I brought that. I, I came across an article. Uh, and, I, and I posted the, 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 this picture. I posted this picture somewhere in the Facebook. And it was in a certain place. A Kenyan Kenya was leading that, that race. If I can remember, it was called Kimutai. And it was about to win the race. But towards the end, he confused, he thought he had already crossed the line. Thank you for 
Because this this teachers do a lot of work. But they don't teach school today. They can make a mistake because they are people. Luckily, let's follow the right channel. To honor Yakwamba to now because we, we they, they are they are helping our children because we are helping our children I wish mama vile ni alikuwa wako kama wako kama vile wako wako koro because trying to sort out all the business and all the problems of those kids. Because we would want to bring up a community. A common feeling community. And I encourage you that in our Himiza, bring your children. Some of these kids may not want to go to the to the to the to the to the to the crash. Go with them and sit there with them. So when 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 they are to 
kujenga basi hizi shoka zikiwa pamoja they 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 will make noise na tapeza kelele praise the lord kwa nusu sifiri next pia ni kubanana tuvumiliane salimia mtu mwambie wa madrasa Let me, let me talk about next few days. Uh, 